I'm, I'm searching for a better way to communicate this to our folks. I, I think I got a pretty good handle on it, but it just seems like every time I go to explain it, kind of get glassy. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to get this at one club. I tried to, when it first came out, I tried to get it instituted to everyone. Bring your purple manual if you have one, because that was about when they started issuing it to new members. And people were saying, like, Covenant Leader? What do we need that for? But are you, what officer role are you going to be holding, if any? Well, I'm the VP of membership right now. Okay. But our VP of education has been out of the country for years part of it. Uh, uh, so I've been kind of doing that too. Okay. If you make, if you make it a point to bring your manual and the other officers make it a point to bring their manual and make a big show out of saying, hey, we're doing our competent leadership, why aren't you? you lead by example, right there. That's one definite way to start picking up the membership base on it. Yeah. I was a member of Toastmasters for maybe three months before I even was told that there was a competent leadership certification that I could get. And when I got my packet of everything from Toastmasters, I mean, the manual was in there, but I didn't pay much it's, attention to it. It's, I know, just as an aside, kind of, that some people didn't even know that there was an area success plan, and they've been in Postmasters for over a decade or something like that. It's all about you know what we you investigate. So one thing we've tried that was fairly successful is on our agendas, or either when you're mailing them out or when you're printing them out, is put on, don't forget your CL manual. Bring your CL manual to the meeting. Keep driving it home. It has to be a consistent effort to make that known that we want you to complete that. Find someone to get that evaluation if you're entitled to it. I agree. Every meeting, something should be said about the competent leadership. I mean, there's, you should always be bringing not only your competent leadership manual if you're working on that, but whatever speech manual you're working on. You never know. If nothing else is to get those VPE signatures, you inevitably forgot. Any other questions in that room? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say that currently in our club, we have a little storage area, so we keep those manuals in particular there, so mm -hmm. nobody gets to take it home. Oh, and then the sergeant of ours brings it out <coughs> at the beginning of every meeting and distributes them, and then we get it signed, and also it will get filled out by somebody else. Mm -hmm. So we found that to be very helpful. Uh, that definitely can be useful. But Except that you can't can... read your, your project before the meeting, though. That's the only problem with that. You know, like the planning and the implementation, you know, there's a bunch of good stuff there that, right. that is really necessary in order to fulfill the goal of your project. And if you really want to take advantage of this manual, mm -hmm. you're going to coordinate with whoever you want to evaluate you mm -hmm. will yeah. at the time. Tell them, I'm working on this, I really like good feedback, here's what I feel I'm not strong on, here's what I am, do feel I'm strong on, maybe you need me pointers for being stronger. Just like your speech evaluation. Yeah. There's a good buddy of mine at work that, he's a, he's not a very um, delicate evaluator, but he's a good evaluator. Right. You know, he'll, he'll tell you where you foul up, and mm -hmm. he'll sort of encourage you if you're doing okay, but if you really want to know where you're messing up, he's he's an excellent source of help. But, <laughs> but, uh, I, I like those better than the people that whitewash me. Really, well, I always get my manual. As a matter of fact, well, there are two guys there, and, and mm -hmm. every one of the signatures in there in here are. And that's wonderful. perfectly fine. There's no restriction. Yet. So yeah, get the feedback from the people that are useful, and make it known that you want that feedback. Yeah, it's not because they're mad, but they, they like me. We're, we're friends. Yeah, they just want you to get better. That's cool. All right. Anything, Charlie, do you know if there's anything else on this? I know I've done this manual a couple of times. Not a but it made it a little bit clearer for me. Okay. The main thing is people think you have to do each and every project. That is not true. Check those notes above it where it says note to the evaluator. These are the projects that must be completed. Sometimes there's special combinations like you have to be timer and project four and one other thing you can't do everything else and not
amount of time. And bring the manual each time, or do what that club, your club does. What club is that? It's Sharpstown. Sharpstown? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, also keep it at the back of your car, but yeah. we don't want any excuses. <laughs> I, had, I didn't have my CL manual stolen, I don't think, but I did have some other manual stolen. Really well, that's a good question. Well, that people you were educated. Oh, yeah. Well, they stole an iPod full of audiobooks, too, so it's, I guess they'll be really by now. Okay. All right. Any other questions on the CL program? I tried to make it a little clear. The main thing, again, just check those note to the evaluators to figure out what you need, bring it each time, one way or another. I have a Toastmasters binder and bag. I keep all my manuals in. It makes life a lot easier. And again, just move. If you really want to take advantage of it, read the project, coordinate with someone in your club, say, I'm really trying to improve my leadership skills, and I would like you to Evaluate me, just a written evaluation. Give me any other comments you have to give me. Charlie. I haven't gotten as much great feedback yeah, as people evaluate me, mm -hmm. but I have found this is a perfect way to take a new Toastmaster and give them feedback on their role and how they did it. Right. I had an evaluator, a uh, general evaluator, fairly new Toastmaster, uh, did not evaluate the evaluators, just completely bypassed them. So one week I gave him that feedback. Mm -hmm. Another week, he was Toastmaster, and he wasn't leading an applause and some of the people weren't getting one. So I gave him the feedback and said, look, if you're not going to lead the applause, there are people that stand up and read their objectives or whatever and don't get one because no one leads. I said, it's your job to lead the applause. So the next time he was Toastmaster, he did that. And I, I'm watching this young man just really developing his skills. So I found this is a perfect manual for getting feedback to the newer Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. I mean, and like you've been saying, it's first we learn the mechanics, and then we learn to put the passion in and use the mechanics we have. Yeah. So this is, again, it's the competent leadership. Just like the competent communicator, you start learning the mechanics of it. When we start being leaders at the club level, at the area level, at the division level, and district level, that's when it becomes, these skills become essential, listening, keeping yourself on time, everything else becomes essential, but then we take them to the next level, and we infuse passion in them. I love putting on odd contests, as Charlie knows. <laughs> we have fun, and one of the projects in here is to be the contest chairman, and you start learning those skills. Any other questions on the CL manual? Any of the projects not kind of confusing? I do know this is one issue that came up once. Let me see if I can find the project. I believe it's around seven or eight. Okay. Someone did a, they were the club speech contest person or the or membership campaign and they, could, they put, they reversed them. So you have to be very careful about, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Which one was that? You said eight? It's organizing and delegating, I think it was, when they had trouble with it. So pay close attention to what each of these titles or the project objectives are. One is help organize a club membership campaign, the other is a club public relations campaign, and a club speech contest, a club special event. You only have to do one of those projects in there, but it's, it's just key to get the right credit for it. I felt bad too because I think it was, it was crossed up with something. I can't remember the details right now. I apologize. They did a club contest before and got in a separate project or something like that. It pays to go through the manual at least once, and it's very difficult to do in a club setting to say, okay, you need this from Project Man, they need this from Project Man, but they need to do it on their own. I mean, Worst case is they bring it in, they do what's in there, they may not learn as much as they could if they didn't apply it. The best case is, again, they come in, they talk to someone to evaluate them, they say, hey, this is what I want to know from this role from, or these objectives.